welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Clams. Today we are making gravlax. Gravlax is traditionally a cured salmon using brown sugar, salt, and dill. We are substituting the salmon with Long Island bluefish, better known as the yellow-eyed devil. Now bluefish has a super high oil content. It's an oily, bloody fish. Now, if you do the right thing and bleed it right away, that meat stays nice and white. People stay away from them though because they are an oily fish. But I grew up eating them. I absolutely love them. They are in abundance. So when you're fishing for stripers, the bluefish always come and get you and people throw them back. They don't want them. They kill them off. They, they really tend to only smoke them. But uh, I think it's gonna hold up really well in this dish because it has such a high oil content like salmon. So let's get to it. Okay, now that I have my two beautiful bluefish fillets, I have to make my curing mix, which is the brown sugar, salt, and dill. Now there is one important measurement to this, and that is equal parts salt and sugar to 50%, equal parts salt and sugar, 50% of the total weight of your fish. What that means is if your fish weighs out at one pound, you're gonna measure half a pound of salt and sugar equal parts. Now, the other important thing is after we make that mixture and we rub it on the fish, put it in the fridge, the curing times. So 12 to 24 hours is gonna give you a very, very light cure. It's still gonna be a moist fish, something you can make a dip out of. Now, 36 hours is gonna give you a little bit more of a cure, a little bit saltier, a little bit more chew. Now, 48 hours is gonna give you something more like a prosciutto or a cured meat to where it's gonna be a lot more salty and it's gonna have a lot more chew to it. It's gonna be yeah, pretty much like the consistency of like almost a pepperoni or a prosciutto. Um, I'm gonna shoot for 36. I'm gonna go right in the middle just in case. So now that our bluefish fillets are completely covered in our salt and brown sugar and dill mix, I'm gonna put saran wrap over that, another pan, and a couple of cans like canned beans or tomato sauce to add pressure. And what the pressure is gonna do is squeeze out any of the moisture that the salt is drawing out of the fish to help cure it. That's why I also have it on a rack so that the moisture can fall down to the bottom pan. And then I'm gonna leave it in the fridge for 38 hours so I'll see you in a day and a half. All right, it's been about two days. I let it go a little bit longer, uh, like I said, because it's the bluefish. So I wanted it to really cure all the way through. And uh, I had the weight on it. The weight was drawn out the moisture. And I took the weight off uh, because they were getting pretty flat and condensed. But um, now I have to take all the salt and sugar off. But wait until you see these fillets. They look amazing. <laughs> so I wiped off all the salt and sugar and I ended up actually having to use a wet paper towel to get it all off and to dissolve it off. I tasted a piece and it was a little bit more salty than I wanted and that's probably because I let it cure that extra 12 hours about. So if I was going to do it again I would have stuck to my 36 hours. but. Take a look at this spread. So 
So if you don't know, this is my mother. This Hi is there. Mom Clams. <laughs> um, Mama Clams. <laughs> Mama Clams. <laughs> and uh, I have a feeling this is going to be one of her favorite things. We definitely like our salty, oily fish, that's for sure. And a side note also, my sister grew these tomatoes and they cheated and had a slice of that and it was incredible. And made the bread. And made the bread, you're right. A whole wheat sourdough. <laughs> a couple of capers, so I have tomato, red onion, a couple of capers, cream cheese, and a little bit of dill on top. Now, normally this would be made with a salmon or uh, we've done it with Arctic char before, but something really fatty because the salt is gonna draw out all that moisture and really condense the fish to a really good consistency, but almost like a prosciutto consistency. Um, but that's why the bluefish works because it's so oily that it stands up to that salt, shrinking it down and compressing it. So, growing up in Brooklyn and Queens, would this be a Jewish deli item? Would this be something, or more German? What would... Uh, I would say probably Jewish. Uh, with the exception of the bluefish, oh, yeah. it would definitely be salmon. Um, also, we used to have Norwegian neighbors across the street, and they were making Roblox all the time. <laughs> so, uh, and I, I don't remember, I do remember the capers. I don't remember what they served it on. I actually think there was no bread when they served it. Normally not, I don't think. Yeah. That's why I think with maybe on a bagel. Probably. That's what I got used to eating it as. <laughs> yeah. The only thing I want to add to this is at age four, Will did a dinner for his father based on what was in the refrigerator, a bunch of leftovers. And his father, my husband Ralph, was a very good cook. And after Will put his concoction together at age four, my husband looked at me and said, that is damn good. And he's only gotten better. <laughs> <laughs> I had to pay her to say that. <laughs> All right. Well, cheers. I forgot cheers. the one thing I always forget. Skull. Napkins. Oh. But... <laughs> That's good. Very good. Yum. <laughs> With everything else, the cream cheese, the bread, the tomato, I actually don't mind that it's as salty as it is because it cuts through all of those really rich, rich flavors. But that is good. And that is a fish that would be tossed away because people are going out trying to get stripers. They catch bluefish, they hate them, and they throw them back. And they say they're too oily, too bloody. This is not fishy at all really good well that's gonna do it for this episode if you liked it hit like hit subscribe definitely share the channel and i'm really enjoying the feedback from everyone it's been really positive and really nice so i appreciate that see you on the next one thank you